Legendary Pokemon have always been the poster child of the Pokemon games themselves, being the cover art of almost all the recently released games, and boasting the highest stats out of almost all of the Pokemon, they're definitely a force to be reckoned with, both in the game's appearance as well as the competitive strategy that's in them. In Pixelmon, the legendary Pokemons tend to have unique quests, whether it be trying to find a Mew to clone it to get Mewtwo, or searching for hours on end just to find a legendary bird shrine. Despite this, not all that many legendary Pokemon have been added so far. Here are my top three legendary Pokemon that have yet to come into Pixelmon. The second legendary duo of Latios and Latias, or dubbed the Eon duo, have proven to be a force to be reckoned with in both the competitive battling as well as in the movies themselves. Definitely on the less popular side is the legendary Pokemon Go. I really like the two because I feel like they really are a duo. You do have other duos like ho -Oh and Lugia, but I feel like they never really work together. Latios and Latias are always appearing together and as one real unit. They're always trying to accomplish the same thing and use teamwork to get there. While the other legendary duos are fighting against each other, Latias and Latios can work together to actually achieve something and not be as inefficient as every other Pokemon. Ho oh has always been a Pokemon, which I find to have a very cool story. In the first episode of the anime, Ash sees a Ho oh flying through the sky on his first day of his adventure. This has led to tons and tons of fan theories about what that actually meant, that Ash might have been sleeping the whole time, and that that's how he maintains his young age, or that's how he became the Pokemon master, quote unquote. Ho oh is also credited with creating the three legendary beasts, Raikou, Ante, and Suicun. The three were created to help fight a war in order to help Ho oh protect the Tin Tower, which it stood on top of. It was like a bird on its perch, and basically it made three incredibly powerful beasts to defend that perch. All around, Ho-Oh has a really cool backstory that I suggest reading up on if you haven't, and definitely should find an addition in the Pixelmon mod, with hopefully some elements of that backstory added. Deoxys is cool because it's one of the first Pokemon to bring about forms. If you don't know, Deoxys has its normal form, but on top of that it also has an attack form, a defense form, and a speed form. Basically what this allows Deoxys to do is transform into any of these forms as the situation calls for it. This allows him to be an almost unstoppable force, taking advantage of whatever skills he needs at the current time, and being able to beat down most of the Pokemon he battles against. Now hopefully when this is added to Pixelmon, each of these forms can have cool, unique ways to get them and actually change your Deoxys around. Adding for a whole new level of customizability. Make sure to comment down below on what you want to see the next top 3 on, and as always, I thank you guys for watching.